Hi, my name is Liz and I'm an art tutor here at Maitland Gallery and I'm here to take you through this amazing exhibition called Safe Spaces that's currently on at the gallery and we're going to be doing this by looking at different artworks and then doing some yoga poses to match those and then we're going to incorporate all the yoga poses at the end into a yoga flow so you get to experience the artwork through your bodies. So we're going to do a few different yoga poses and then at the end we're going to bring them all together in a bit of a flow. So this first work that we're looking at, it's a work by Alex Seaton and it's made out of a whole lot of oars and we're going to be using our arms a bit like oars and also exploring the spaces within our lungs. So I want you to find a nice comfortable seated position, so maybe crossing your legs and we're just going to place our hands on our bellies and take a deep breath in and I want you to see if you can fill up as much space as you possibly can in those lungs. So maybe deep breath in through the nose, feeling your belly expand and then a big long breath out. We're going to do that three more times. Beautiful. And then we're going to incorporate our arms. So I want you to spread out your fingertips nice and wide as though you have oars on the end of your hands, on your arms. And then inhale, bringing those oars up toward the, towards the ceiling. Deep breath in, fill that belly. And then exhale, bring the arms back down. One more time. And back down. And then we're going to take our right oar over the top of our head with a deep breath in and a long exhale out. And then our left oar and all the way down. Beautiful. So this next work is by Tim Sterling and it's called Vanishing Point. And as you can see, it's made up of all these wooden spools and they're actually held together by bits of string. The whole thing, if you remove the string, look like it would just all fall apart. So it's this idea of movement while being still at the same time, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to come up onto our hands and knees, and we're going to try and mimic this beautiful shape that Tim's created with our, with our backs. So this pose is called cat-cow. So on an inhale breath, I want you to lift your chin, lift your nose up to the ceiling and lift your tailbone up to the ceiling and imagine that you're dropping your belly button down to the floor. And then as you exhale, I want you to press your back up towards the ceiling and tuck your chin into your chest. So you're gazing towards your belly button. Inhale, lift that chest, lift that chin. Exhale, press down into the floor, lift up through the spine. So we're going to do that one more time. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, tucking the chin in. So these next works that we're looking at are by Claire Healy and Sean Cadero. And they're these amazing sculptures that are actually made out of Lego. So this one here is of a snake. And we're going to do what's called a cobra pose in yoga. So that's a type of snake. So we're on all fours from our last cat cow. And what I want you to do in one breath, see if you can shift your weight forward and then come all the way to the floor. And then on an inhale breath, taking your hands down beside you, lifting up your chest like you're an angry cobra. And then exhale, gently bring yourself back down to the floor. So we'll have a go of that one more time. Inhale, lifting up through that chest. And then exhale, coming back down to the floor. So the next pose we're going to do is chair pose. So from this cobra position, we're just going to come back onto all fours and then step our legs up to our hands. And then I want you to imagine that you're sitting in an invisible chair. So sitting your bottom down nice and low, bending through the knees, and then maybe give yourself some octopus arms. Or you can hold your arms nice and still. So should we have a go at that again? We're going to start down nice and low, and then we're going to press up onto all fours, step our feet up to our hands, and then sit on our invisible chair. 
So this next work we're looking at is by Franz Emmen, and he made it alongside his bees in his backyard. So he took his work shirts and he put them inside his beehive, and then the, beehive, the bees put this beautiful pattern on his shirts. They took about 14 days to do that. So if you look up close, you'll see all these beautiful shapes that the bees have built on the shirts. So we're going to be doing tree pose today because bees obviously need pollen from trees to take back to their hives. So from our chair pose, we're going to stand up nice and tall and we're going to take our right leg and place it on the ground and we're going to lift up our left leg and we can either lift it to our ankle, to our calf or all the way up to the top of our leg. And then you can bring your hands to your chest or you can spread your branches out nice and big. So taking up lots of space. Should we try it on the other side? So this time, left leg comes down, right foot, ankle, calf, upper thigh, taking those branches nice and big. If you fall out of it, it's pretty hard to balance in a tree pose. That's okay, just have another go. So coming down onto our knees, we're going to take a look at this beautiful wooden sculpture by Abdul Rahman Abdullah. And you can see here that he's wrapped in a blanket and he's just woken up from a bad dream. So this work's called The Boy Who Couldn't Sleep. He's wrapped this sheet around him to keep him nice and safe. He's got these beautiful horns on him for protection. And in yoga, we have a pose which is quite safe and protecting and it's called child's pose or infant's pose. So I want you to bring your knees together and we're gonna take a deep breath and lift up our chest and then we're gonna fall over our knees, take our hands down behind us and tuck our chins into our chest. And notice how you feel in this pose. Do you feel nice and safe and snug? So should we try that one more time? Inhale, lift up through the chest and exhale, falling over those legs, taking your arms behind you and tucking in that chin. This one's another one of Tim Sterling's work. And you can see this space that it takes up, but it's wrapped up into this kind of tight circle. And if you unwrapped it, it would take up even more space. It's made up of these individual bricks, which alone may, may be quite fragile, but together they build this strong, almost like a belt. And us humans are a bit the same. Individually, we are quite fragile, but as a whole, we are quite strong. So we're gonna do a pose today called tabletop and it requires a little bit of strength. Are you ready? So we're gonna come up into what's called tabletop position. So we're gonna take our hands back behind us, place our feet on the mat, and then using all your strength, I want you to lift your hips up into the sky. And then exhale, bring your bottoms back down to the floor. Are you ready? Inhale, lifting up through the hips. Exhale, bringing those hips back down to the floor. So now we're going to have a go at putting all those poses that we've learned together in one yoga flow. So if you can remember, starting at the very beginning, we're going to start back on our bottoms and remembering our oar hands and just placing them on our belly. We're just going to take two really big breaths. Remember, filling up those lungs and exhaling all that air out. And inhale, filling them up. And exhale all the way out. And then getting our oars up, inhale, sweeping up to the sky, and exhale, coming back down. We're going to take our right oar and take it over our head, and exhale down, and then on the left side, and back down. And then we're going to come forward onto our hands and knees, and come through our cat cow. So remembering, inhale, lifting the chest, lifting that chin. You can tuck your toes, lift your tailbone, and then exhale for our angry cat. So rounding through the shoulders, pressing into the floor, looking towards your belly button. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round through your back. And then from here, we're going to come down onto our chest. So inhale, shifting your weight forward and exhale all the way down to the floor. Coming into our cobra pose, remembering our Lego snake. So inhale, lifting up through the chest, looking to the sky. Exhale, coming back down. One more time. 
inhale, big cobra. And then coming back down to the floor. And then can you remember our next pose? It was our chair pose. So coming back onto our hands and knees, stepping our feet up to our hands and getting ready to sit down into that invisible chair. So getting your bottom down nice and low, maybe give yourself some octopus arms, your octopus sitting in that chair and then coming up to standing. We're gonna find our trees. So starting with our right leg, bringing our left leg up, finding our balance and then seeing if we can do it on the other side. Branches nice and wide. And then from here, bringing both legs back down to the floor and we're gonna come back down onto our knees and we're gonna find our child's pose. So remembering, feeling that nice, safe and secure pose. And we're gonna inhale, lift up through the chest and then bring that chest down to the knees. Tuck your chin in, taking your arms down beside you, taking a breath and then inhale, bringing your hands back onto the mat. And we're gonna come down onto our bottoms and we're gonna find our tabletop pose. So pressing those feet into the floor and we're gonna use all our strength to press our hips up into the sky and then bringing our bottoms back down to the floor. One more time, inhale, lift up and then exhale, coming back down. Awesome work, guys. So that was your yoga flow in this safe space. And the next pose we're gonna do is the end of our yoga flow and it's called Shavasana. So come and check it out. So this work is by Keg D'Souza and she's actually an architect as well as an artist. And so she designs buildings and she's designed this space within a space. So see these big pillowy shapes? You can actually crawl inside and it's nice and dark and soft in there. And when you look up, she's put all these beautiful lights up top it. So you can actually see the night sky. And it's made for people that want to experience that even when they can't just go outside and look at the night sky because they're in the city or maybe there's too much pollution. So it feels really nice and safe in there. Maybe have a think about where your safe space is, somewhere where you go to feel nice and safe and secure. We are going to do our final pose here. So the final pose is called Shavasana. So it's where we calm our minds and calm our breath and we close down our eyes. So this final work that we're looking at is by Keg D'Souza and she's actually an architect as well as an artist. So she designed this beautiful big pillowy shape and if you crawl inside through this little hole, you can look up at the night sky. So we're gonna try and create that same kind of space using our imaginations. So we're gonna lie down on our backs in a pose called Shavasana, and it's actually my favorite pose. I want you to spread out, take up a lot of space, close down your eyes, and seeing if you can imagine the night sky in your mind. So maybe you can see some shooting stars, different constellations, and I want you to see if you can just Concentrate on your breath here too. So remembering those big balloon belly breaths, taking a really big inhale, filling up the balloon and exhale, letting all that air out. We're gonna do that two more times. So big inhale, nice long exhale. One more time. Beautiful. And then give yourself a really big smile. And I just want to thank you for joining me in this immersive yoga and art experience here at Maitland Gallery. I hope you enjoyed it.